Welcome to the show that will keep you from falling behind during the week. With your hostesses with no ghostesses, Jackie and Belinda here for the Friday Catch-Up on the Paraclast Radio Network. Hello, everyone, for another week of Friday Ketchup. Hi, Jackie. Hello. Oh, it's lovely today. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Why? What's the problem? Well, <laughs> at the moment, it is currently 50 degrees in Louisiana, and I'm sitting outside, because that's the only place I can, I can do this and not wake up the whole house. So... I'm freezing my little bum off. I have one blanket wrapped around my legs and my feet, one blanket wrapped around my upper body. I'm wearing a hoodie on top of that. So, and on top of that, and I know this is way more information than you ever wanted to know, but (laughs) as I was sitting down, my pants kind of slid down. So now I have cold plastic chair on my butt crack. Oh, lovely. Just what you needed. (laughs) So you know what? I defy any one of you people out there to tell me I am not dedicated to this radio show. Exactly. If it's not the 13-hour shift putting it all on YouTube, it sure as hell is sitting out in the goddamn cold. Yes. So, (laughs) all of you? (laughs) Yeah. See, because, you know, I'm just a big weenie. I get to sit inside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. (laughs) Wait till summer. Then you'll hear me bitching. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, wait. Be... Yeah. You you, you kind of always bitch a lot. <laughs> like, um, all winter, I've all I've heard is, it's cold. It's cold. <laughs> like, oh, my God, it's cold. Good day. It's cold. <laughs> <laughs> well, then in summer, it'll be hot, won't it? I hope. <laughs> Good day. It's hot. It's hot. It's very hot. <laughs> You sound I'm like sweating the, me bum off. You sound like those little girls from Britain that were singing the Nicki Minaj song on Ellen. <laughs> we love pink. <laughs> we love pink. <laughs> uh, okay, speaking of colours, I got an email today. <gasps> you email? No. I know, I hardly ever get one that's not spam. But anyway, this one is telling us... I don't like spam! Sorry, Monty Python preference. (laughs) It's just a flesh wound. Um, Yeah, so uh, today, being Friday, which is actually Wednesday for you, Thursday for me, but anyway, Friday is, uh, what is it, Spirit Day. Okay, so the email, I'll read it out to you and I'll try not to sound like a complete idiot. Okay. Yay! That's a change. I mean, <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how I'm going to manage. Uh, many of our friends and partners leading the effort to combat lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender bullying in schools will be wearing shades of purple to work on TV, online, and on the street. We are proud to join these organizations in Spirit Day and encourage our hundreds of thousands of supporters online, like you, to join the millions wearing purple in support of lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender youth. Stand with the lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender youth, well, Friday, today, by wearing purple for Spirit Day. And then you can go to their website, www.itgetsbetter.org forward slash Spirit Day. And then they go on to say, Your videos have given hope, provided inspiration, and touched lives in many powerful ways. Thank you. Uh, uh, Thanks to you. Lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender youth have seen, heard, and felt messages of support from so many allies. While there is much more to do, together we are making it safer for the lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender youth. Thank you from Brian Pines at It Gets Better Project. Cool. Yes, so for those of you that don't remember, um, a few shows back, and I can't remember exactly which show it was, uh, we actually dedicated one of our shows to the It Gets Better Project. Um, You can look it up on YouTube at www.youtube.com slash user slash Friday Ketchup. It's called It Gets Better. Mm -hmm. We actually also um, uploaded one of these videos, um, 
I think it was the third part, but I don't remember. I've slept since then. Barely, <laughs> but I have. Um, so, you know, we've dedicated our whole show. So this is actually something that, you know, we can actually get behind. So all of you out there, please, 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 today slash Friday, uh, please Friday, wear purple. If you're not yes. wearing it now, Go then do changed. it. Go get changed. There's still a little bit of today left. You know, it's all good. Although, although actually, you know, we better make this show really, really good. Why? Because it could be our last. <gasps> it could be too. <gasps> oh my god. So, as for that whole you not sounding like an idiot, you were doing so good. <laughs> but, <laughs> and then you just buggered it up. But you know what? What? You'll only be hearing the show if this guy is severely wrong. This is true. Well, actually, according to um, the random guy, which we'll, we 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 actually have the article, so we'll be discussing it later on. Um, according to this guy, it's supposed to be at whatever time it is, Friday for us. So since you are ahead of us, you're always a day ahead. You're always a day away. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um. Um, yeah. It'll actually be Saturday for you. Yeah. Well, let's just hope it's after five. Yes. Eastern. Yes. Because Which I then, think it is. Yeah. So we better not run too far over, hey? <laughs> Otherwise, oh, people no. will be like, oh, yeah. I missed the last bit. <laughs> but you know, I've pretty much, I've pretty much figured out that um, I'm kind of screwed either way it goes. So I'll be able to hear the last part. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, we're all good. Okay, um, I have two reviews to do today. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'll get into them rather quickly so we can get this thing moving. Okay, the first one is from the TV show that I have been reviewing the last couple of weeks called The One. And that the is one. <laughs> That is Australia's, uh, what is it? Oh, Search The Search for, for the... Australia's great, Most Gifted Psychic. Yes. <laughs> So the challenge this week was for them to go into an apartment that had had a murder happen 30 years previous. They had to go into the apartment and say why the murder happened, where in the apartment the murder happened, and how the person was killed. Mm. And there was an empath in the, in the group that was doing it. Oh, hell. Oh, yeah. Now, this was not a pretty crime. I mean, what crime is, but murder especially. So, she obviously ended up completely just a blithering mess. Um, Let's see. We have one, two, three people that got two elements of the three elements correct. The last lady, Debbie, actually does crime scene psychic work for a living. And she almost got the full kit and caboodle, but she changed her mind at the last minute. So I was like, no, you had it. Perfect score. Oh, my God. So she changed her mind at the last minute, and we were like, (laughs) And then the second challenge was they had to match up four couples, but they didn't know who went with whom. And the only person that actually did any good at that was Salvatore. And he got two couples out of the four, correct? Wow. So, yes, and the two people that went home were Julie and Michael. So, yes, that was cool. Um, Did you have anything you wanted to put in for anything before uh, I did the second Two review? things. Okay. Two, two things. One, um, congratulations, even though he doesn't listen, but maybe this will get his attention. <laughs> congratulations <laughs> to Matt Smith for winning um, Best Sci-Fi Male Actor. Uh, at the Scream Awards, you know, uh-huh. that is pretty cool. I mean, it, it takes a lot to win over an American audience. I mean, you know, Doctor Who and all this has been winning over Britain for nearly 50 years now. So the fact that now it's actually winning over an American audience is pretty cool. So is- congratulations. Yay. <laughs> uh, the second thing is, um, you know... Everyone has relationship problems. Everyone, you know, we know a lot of people that are you know, currently going through 
relationship struggles, but you know, there are some things in this world that give me hope that true love does actually exist. My mom found this article for me. <laughs> Couple married for 70, 72 years dies holding hands. Oh, wow. They, um, they actually died an hour apart from each other, and when they were, uh, they were cremated, and then um, their ashes were put into the same urn so they could be together forever. Oh, that's so sweet. 